Yes, we will solve the question paper numerical. So this question has been asked in June 2023 for five marks. Okay, so our question is based on the mesh analysis. So the question is find the mesh currents in the network shown. So you need to find what is the current flowing in the mesh one and mesh two. So there is a five volt given here, five volt battery, five ohm resistor. So it's a voltage control voltage source here. Four ohms resistor, one ohm resistor. Then there is a voltage control voltage source again. There is two ohm resistor and a 10 volt battery. So this is the uh, final answer we need to get. So for that, what I will do first, I will rewrite this circuit. Let us rewrite this circuit. So this I have rewritten the circuit and I have allotted the direction of the current. So in this case, the current direction has been assumed to be in the clockwise direction. And there is one more thing that is V1 mentioned in the question. And the polarity of the V1 is also given in the question itself. So we are assuming the direction of the current to be an clockwise. Okay. So from the circuit, what we are going to write from the circuit, first we will write the value of V1. From the circuit, we will write the value of V1. So V1 is 5 into I1. So wherever the current is entering, wherever the current is entering. We usually take that terminal to be a plus terminal. You know? And wherever the current is leaving, we are taking the terminal to be minus terminal. But the polarity of the V1 is already mentioned in the equation. So from this, what we will do? We will take V1 is equal to phi into minus I1. That is why the I1 becomes negative. So V1 will be equal to minus phi I1. And here, in case of in case of uh, v2 okay so current direction is same so we will assume the entering current to be a plus and leaving current to be minus so v2 is also having same polarity as the current okay current entering so it is 2 into i2 so v1 is minus phi i1 and v2 is minus phi i2 so this we will we need it Okay, to substitute later on in the KVL equation. So the next step is we need to apply the KVL to the mesh 1. Okay, so we need to apply KVL to the mesh 1. So KVL to the mesh 1. So from this we will start with the minus phi, okay, because the battery is connected to the plus terminal. We are going from plus to minus, so it is minus phi. Then there is V1. V1 is going from minus to plus, okay. V1 ka polarity we are going to take, so it is plus V1. Then there is voltage, control voltage source, plus to minus it is going, so it is minus 2 V2. Then from the current direction what we will do so we will assume this to be as plus direction of the current based on and this to be as minus so it is 4 into i1 then there is i1 here so this current we are taking with respect to i1 so here also we will assume this terminal to be plus and this terminal to be minus depending on the value of depending on the direction of the current so this is plus and this is minus okay so one is the value of resistor in brackets i will write i1 and there is one more current which is flowing opposite to i1 that is i2 so i1 minus i2 we need to write it then plus 
so this dependent source is having polarity from minus to plus we are going so it is plus 2 into v1 so now let us put the value of value of v1 and v2 in this equation so v1 is minus 5 i1 i have put v2 is 2 into i2 i have put okay and the rest all the brackets we have opened and here also there is a value of v1 is substituted so by simplifying this we get 20 i1 plus 3 i2 minus 5 so let us call this as equation number 1 so we have got the one equation now we will apply KVL to the mesh 2. Mesh 2 KVL we will apply so that we get one more equation. So there are two variables I1 and I2. Two equations we get and we will solve simultaneously to get those I1 and I2 values. So KVL to the mesh 2. So we will start with this. So this is plus to minus it is going. We are taking the, going in the direction of I2. So minus 10. Okay, so this is going from plus to minus. So it is minus 2 V1. Next, next is 1 ohm. Okay, now we are going in the direction of I2. So this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative. So from positive to negative, so minus 1. Now it is I2 minus I1. Okay, so it is I2 minus I1 because we are going in the direction of I2. Then the remaining is minus 2 I2. So again, you will substitute the value of V1 here, minus 5 I1 and the rest. Open the brackets and simplify. So the common terms are getting added here. Okay, so finally we get 11 I1 minus 3 I2 is equal to 10. Now we will solve these two equations simultaneously. So when I solve these two equations simultaneously, okay, so this I2 term gets cancelled. So I get the value of I1 to be minus 5 by 31. And by putting this value of I1 in equation number 1, what do I get? I get the value of I2 to be minus 2.74. So this completes the numerical. Next, we will go for the next sum. Again, this has been asked in the recent exam, June 2023. And this is for the 10 marks. And this is also based on the mesh analysis. Okay. So, this is the answer we need to get expected answer. So, I have redrawn the circuit. So, there is a minus 10 volt battery, 8 ohm resistor, 2 ohms. And there is a common current source, okay, between mesh 1 and mesh 2. And there is voltage dependent voltage source here and there is a 10 ohms here. So whenever there is a common current source between the two meshes, it will act as a super mesh. So let us redraw the circuit here. So I have redrawn the circuit again and I have highlighted the super mesh. Okay. So in this question, there is no, no sorry, in this question, they have already mentioned the direction of the current. So the same direction we will assume it. Okay, the same direction we will assume it for I1 and I2. We will not change direction because it is already mentioned in the question. And whenever the current source is common here between the two meshes, it will form a super mesh. And that super mesh loop will be the outer loop which I have highlighted in a green. Greening. So let us start the problem. From the circuit, what do you get? From the circuit... From the circuit if I apply okay so if I apply a KVL 
टू मैश वन इफ आई अप्लाई के बी एल टू मैश वन ओके सो दिस पॉइंट इज ग्राउंड सो दिस पॉइंट इज ग्राउंड सो दिस पॉइंट इज टेकन एज नेगेटिव If I take this point as to be ground and this point by default it will be positive. So if I take to if I take apply a KVL to this mesh because I need the value of V dot, so it will be minus ten here. Okay, minus ten I have written. So in the direction of the current, so this will be plus. This point will be plus and this point will be minus. So it is minus eight I one and V naught is existing between these two terminals, so it is minus V, minus V naught. So it is going from plus to minus, so it is minus V naught. So from this, it is V naught is equal to <coughs> minus ten minus eight i. So this result we want because we need to. This result we need in the when we apply KVL, we need to substitute the value of V naught. That is why we have. Just found the value of V naught from the mesh one. Now considering the considering the super mesh, okay, we will start applying the KVL to the super mesh. So we'll start with minus ten here. Minus ten, I will take. Minus ten. Okay, minus ten, and then this is minus eight i one because in the direction of the current, so left terminal will be plus and right terminal will be minus. So plus to minus it is going to minus eight i one. Then we will come to here outer loop. So this is three v naught. Okay, this is three v naught. So three v naught is three v naught three into v naught. It is minus again. Then there is ten into I two. So in this resistor, there is a current I two is flowing. So it is ten into I two. So this is forming a KVL equation of the super mesh. And again from this point, if I take the current, okay. So the current source is common between these two meshes. So if I apply KCL at this point, okay. Which point if I apply KCL? If I apply KCL, okay. If I apply KCL at this point, so incoming current is I one here. Okay, I one is coming like this. Okay, I two is going like this. That is outgoing, and three. And minus three is incoming to this node. So from KCL, if I take from KCL, if I take I one is incoming. Okay, minus three is I will write that is also incoming because the magnitude is minus three itself, and outgoing is equal to I two. So this is the KCL incoming current is equal to outgoing current. So from this I two minus I one will give me the value of minus three. So this also equation we need to remember so that we can substitute and simplify later on. Now in this equation of the super mesh, we will substitute the value of we will substitute the value of I two as I one minus three. Okay. So we have substituted the value of I two as I one minus three, and we have substituted the value of V naught as minus ten minus eight I one, and from this now in this equation only I one is the variable, correct? So like terms you add it all the I one terms you add, okay, and all the constant terms you add. So as a result, we will get I one is equal to minus fifty by eight amperes. Now by putting this I one value in the equation, okay, in this equation, what do you get? You get the value of I two, which is minus eleven point double three amps. So this completes the 
Jom mereka.